Hello everybody, I'm Messnack from the CTV channel, and this is probably one of the most important videos we've ever put out on our channel, as it represents a shift in some aspects of our content. Uh, I understand completely going into this that the reception to this announcement will range from downright mixed to extremely negative, and I completely understand that. Uh, all of TTV does. I do ask, though, that you give us the benefit of the doubt, listen to our rationale, and try to see where we're coming from with this video. I think you will see the truth behind this in the end. So, I'll cut to the chase and start off by saying that you will still be allowed to discuss leaked Bionicle and LEGO content on the TTV message boards and our comment sections on YouTube and Vessel. That aspect of our community is not changing at the moment. However, TTV will no longer be reporting on or discussing leaked images, specifically those with a confidential marking. Aside from confidential imagery, we will also see reporting on impressions or leaks from retailers' catalogs. Additionally, users in the TTV message boards will not be permitted to directly post or link to leaked images, although once again, you'll still be allowed the same freedom of discussion as you have always enjoyed. As far as what will still be allowed, set images without confidential markings will continue to be reported on and discussed in our videos, alongside set names released via reputable sources such as online shop sites. Any other irregular leaked content, such as internal documentation or anything of the kind, will likely be handled on a case-by-case -case basis depending on what we feel is best. So now that that's out of the way, you may be asking yourselves, why would you do this, TTV? Why would you stop reporting on leaks considering that you became popular by reporting on the Bionicle 2015 leaks? Well, we aren't ignorant of the fact that leaks helped build our channel and that we willingly participated in the massive hype surrounding Bionicle's return. However, several things have happened to us over the last year or so that have changed how we view this matter. Uh, you may also think that we've received some kind of contact from LEGO commanding us to stop posting leaked images, but I'd just like to say that we have not received any sort of communication from LEGO on this subject. This decision has been reached because of other reasons, which I will now briefly outline for you. Uh, the year of 2015 is the first year where we've been able to observe a normal leak season from the perspective of hosting our own community. We've always seen stuff from the outside looking in, we've never really been at the center of a Bionicle community where people discuss leaked images on a routine basis, and we've seen firsthand this year a disturbing amount of fabricated leaks designed purely to trick the LEGO community at large, and an extreme fascination with new info that puts a grinding halt to any current story or set-related discussion for the ongoing wave. Additionally, beginning with the NYCC Bionicle launch party in late 2015, we've had increased contact with LEGO over the last year, and we've begun to feel pretty bad for having participated in the spread of leaked info to such a substantial degree. Despite how the community may view them as free advertising for LEGO, the LEGO company clearly dislikes leaks, and we don't feel that we should disrespect the wishes of a company that's been so kind to us over the last year any longer. And the reason LEGO dislikes leaks, well there's a lot of reasons, uh, many of which would take way too long to explain, but I'll tell you the two main reasons are probably that they drive attention away from their current product lines, as well as provide an easier avenue for bootleg LEGO products to be created at a much faster pace. The only positive leaks really offer for the community is an avenue to ease a rampant curiosity, but after giving it a lot of thought, we at TTV don't really feel like the positives outweigh the negatives from a community perspective and certainly not from LEGO's point of view. The biggest reason we're stopping the spread of leaked images in our content is that it's illegal to distribute confidential imagery. That really should be the primary reason for everything, nothing else really needs to be said about that. It's illegal. The people that go in and they get their hands on these catalogs somehow, and they take pictures of them and post them online for the community to see, they're usually viewed as doing the community a service, and for the people out there that want to see leaks, they are. But they're also committing a crime. They're taking internal documentation and or imagery and posting it online for the world to see in an unfinished state. So, that's that. We've never directly gotten our hands on a catalog, and we've never actually leaked any content ourselves. We've always talked about what has already been out there circulating in the community. But we also can't shy away from our responsibility here. We have purported the spread of these images because of our audience and because of the reach that our channel has. 
And again, we fully admit and understand our role in this over the years. Uh, to some of you, this probably seems pretty abrupt because we have just been participating on the spread of leaked images like always. There was the summer sets that came out for 2015. We just got through speculating on the leak season for the 2016 wave. And now all of a sudden we're cutting back on leaks, so it probably seems quite abrupt. But uh, for us, it's anything but. We've been having internal discussions about the role of leaks on our channel for around two years now. And they were significantly ramped up following Bionicle's unveiling last year and all the crazy hype that happened behind that. If you'd like to hear more about our rationale behind this decision, just stay tuned to our channel. The next TTV Talks episode will go in-depth on this topic in great detail, and we'll be addressing community feedback to this announcement on the next TTV podcast. And, uh, again, we fully recognize that us stopping reporting on leaks isn't going to make them go away. That being said... In today's day and age, with the prevalence of social media, we also understand, and you should too, that you don't really need us to inform you about stuff like this anymore. The information's out there if you absolutely have to seek it out. People will still leak stuff. And you're welcome to continue discussing that content on the TTV message boards and our comments sections. We will just not be participating in it anymore, because we don't feel like it's the right thing to do. So, we here at TTV thank you all for understanding our rationale behind this decision, and for following our content and supporting us, and uh, we hope you'll still enjoy following us for a plethora of other entertaining content besides leak discussion. So, that's pretty much all I have to say today. Thank you for your time. Uh, please feel free to leave your thoughts, positive or negative, in the comments section below, and uh, we will try to address them. And thank you for listening. I'm Miss Neck, and stay tuned for the next exciting video on our channel. Goodbye.